I really want to be a game programmer. So what do game companies really want? They want three things. First of all, they want technical chops. The technical and programming skills that are offered in an undergraduate degree program in computer science or engineering, right? I've got that covered. Yes. They also want team players. I've got that covered too. My profs are always making me do group projects. You need to demonstrate that you can be slotted into a game development team without difficulty. They look for experience in working on a game project in a team with other programmers and artists. Artists? Wow. What's the third thing? This may seem a bit schizophrenic, but they also want you to be an independent worker. The game industry stays on the cutting edge of technology, which means that you will need to constantly develop and hone new skills over the course of your career. A team player and an independent worker? Wow. That's harsh. Where can I get all three things? The Department of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of North Texas has an accredited program leading to the BS, MS, and PhD degrees in Computer Science and Engineering. As a public state university, tuition and fees are highly competitive. It has a range of undergraduate and graduate level game programming classes. Yeah, but so does everybody these days. It's hard to know how to make a choice. The Princeton Review and Game Pro magazine recently ranked 500 game design programs in North America. Game design is a catch-all term that encompasses game programming, game art, game development, and what the industry actually calls game design. Who the hell are the Princeton Review? They run the GRE exam, which you need to take to get into graduate school anywhere in the U.S. Oh. Cool. Anyway, the University of North Texas Laboratory for Recreational Computing made it into the top 50 out of 500. Nice. I'm interested. They have been around since 1993 and have placed a lot of game programmers in the game industry. Anybody I've heard of? What games have they worked on? Jason West. Founder of the Call of Duty franchise comes to mind. Lark alumni have worked on recent games like Call of Duty Black Ops and Def Jam Rap Store, among others. You can find a complete list online. Sweet. I've heard that game programming is probably the hardest kind of programming there is, and that game companies are really picky about the programmers they hire. I'm a little nervous about that. What if I crash and burn? With that computer science or engineering degree you should have no difficulty getting a job in another part of the computer industry. So don't worry. Your future is bright even if you can't hack the face of the game industry. You've sold me. How do I get started? Make sure you can cut code in several programming languages, including C and C++. You'll need to take a lot of math, particularly geometry and linear algebra. Remember, it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert on anything, so don't expect it to happen overnight. Wow. Count me in. One more thing though. What's that round yellow thing up in the sky? It's so bright. You really need to get out more in the daytime. On second thoughts, no. Your game programmer material, 